It's coming from whom? From Hanoi. Our company got hacked. We lost the information of the employees. Um, now, what is your suggestion to recover those information? I mean, what we could do so we could limit the spread of this information out in the in the market. So, guy, so Hong, on this one, you are in a really big problem. So you have lost all the employees' information, and now you want to recover. Um, I don't know the number of the employees you have in in your company. Maybe if it's less than fifty you can easily uh, recollect this information and start to protect but if you have probably more than 500 employees uh, then it's, it's 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 a big problem because in that situation you are um, it's going to be tons of work for you to to get this all inf employee information back you're lucky that you have not lost the information of your customer so probably you will not be going out of the business but now you still expose your all employee inf information is exposed to the market so partner with hr and 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 partner with other departments heads and recollect start recollecting the information as soon as possible um when it's already out there um try to go to top five uh, hacked website data website maybe some of the time hackers actually passed over there too so if you go 10 to 15 top hack website data it's actually if you just google it you'll find them and then you can go for 20 to 15 to 20 and then you can if you may find that over there but however those files are often encrypted and have some kind of uh, trojan included too so you got to be very careful and you need to extract it from somewhere else and you have to really look into it too which is still very risky actually so that is one of the thing is by just recovering the data from out from the organization you recover inside your organization it's much more safer it's going to be more work but it's much more safer and number two so now you lost all the information so you're getting the all the information back so now one tips is for you is you have to probably recreate the info employee email again or probably you already have it but your all the employee info email addresses has already been leaked out because you see employee information go out so maybe you can restructure the email structure as well too so that is why the previous all email addresses will not be valid anymore you will be you will be um uh difficult for other people to send email to to you as well but you can install some kind of um, mails check box so whenever it send it to, to your old email it can stay in a box somebody need to be checked primarily approved it and there then can be sent it to inbox I just don't want to mention those names of this application, but those kinds of application exist. Just Google around and find one of the tool, and then you can integrate it with your email server to do that. So that means when you recreate your email addresses with a different structure of the email address, re uh, connect it with the previous one, deactivate the previous one, but when the previous one, but the outside your customer, other partners, maybe they will still sending you the email addresses to that particular employee, so it will go to the sandbox first, manually verified, and then it will deliver to inbox. And if you run it for a few months, six months, and then you can decommission that again, then everybody knows what is the right email address already. Um, if you don't want to invest time on this one, so another uh, another way is about you just simply um, um, you just simply create the new uh, email address. Uh, simply just block other domain email addresses to to all employees just keep the email addresses open to accept email from outside the domain for hod sales marketing ceos and leadership people only the rest of the employees actually doesn't communicate a lot outside the organization their main communication is inside the organization so you can just simply um, disable their access uh, email receiving outside the domain so that is one of the way if you run it for six to six months so there is a, so, so even the info e email address outside there will not be a lot of chaos coming out and uh, is spam and other things because those spammers or, or or trojan email whatever that comes to you they will be blocked but more importantly you may risk keep receiving emails from from different sources for your all employees having some virus embedded inside it which 
they will tell to download and install to your computer and you don't want it to have it right so blocking outside email addresses outside the domain is one of the safe one of the easiest way but also effective way but i told you you need to remember the people who really interact outside you need to train them probably doing you know workshops or in videos so they don't do it uh, they, so, they, so they, they don't get into a trap because they are still open to receive email address.